So parents, you all know our schools are set to open in just a few weeks. It's a relief for parents of special needs students who say it's vital for their child to have a structured classroom education. First Coast News reporter Rick Boone is joining us live in Jacksonville on your side tonight with one family who can't wait for their child to get back to school. Rick. Yeah, you know what? Every uh, parent is pretty much telling me that every day their kids are not inside these classrooms. It could have some long term effect on their learning. Hey. Burt Brown's son, Ben, has Down syndrome, and during this pandemic, Ben's middle school education had to be adjusted from the classroom to the living room. We did a couple of months of virtual school towards the end of the semester, like everyone else, and it's just hard. The kids have a hard time staying focused. The family says Ben's virtual learning can affect advancements in his development. Ben attends the North Florida School of Special Education. Administrators there insist the combo of a face-to-face -face teacher environment with peers around is vital to enhancing the instruction for their students. Our student body is comprised of um, children that start at age 6 and they go through adult age 22. The school is now ready to open the second week of August. They have some 155 students planning to attend classes in person and around 30 to stay at home for online learning. Inside the building, students can expect to see their desks separated with dividers and an option to wear a mask or a face shield and social distancing will remain in place. He's a tough kid and we feel like the school is doing everything that they need to do and to stay safe and, and he's going to do a good job of washing those hands, right Ben? The Brown family says as they plan to send Ben back, they do have their COVID concerns, but believe their child will stay safe, especially with all the precautions in place. We did a couple of months of virtual school towards the end of the semester like everyone else. Yeah, Ben is a, a little kid with a lot of energy there. He said he can't wait to get back into this school with his friends. Now, the school currently is offering a summer camp over the next few weeks, and they're going to use that information from the summer camp not only to have some time for the kids to get acclimated back into the system, but also learn how the best ways of keeping them safe once the school year officially starts. We're live in Jacksonville. Rick Boone, First Coast News, on your side.